Hello, my name is Samuel. I'm David. And this is Team Aqua. Team Aqua. All right. First question What is the environmental pro problem that your project is going to solve? Um, basically, it solves the problem of, create, of growing a, a garden and raising fish in an urban environment. And basically, this this um, this invention is kind of like is supposed to help deal with that problem by allowing both both the fish that you grow that you raise and the crops that you raise to help each other out and basically let, um, help each other grow. Okay, and how did you guys come about creating this project? got together to design, uh, like to think about a project we wanted to do. Uh, Jonathan came with the idea of a self-sufficient aquarium slash garden thing. And we uh, we drew out what we thought we were playing at the beginning. And then from there we went on designing and ordering it. Okay. And what are some challenges that you guys face since developing this project? Um, some of the challenges that we face with this project is like the material, it's like gathering up the materials and like um, kind of establishing the um, idea, like establishing like basically the ideas for this project because um, we know what we want to do but it's like not difficult to build, it's just that like, this takes some um, time and like materials that um, and we have, and we're kind of not limited but we have to like, figure out what resources uh, we need to use for this project, especially like how we incorporate the stuff that we learned from previous um, sessions into this project, such as the fab lab. And, uh, but we're still thinking about how to use a uh, pink for example. Oh, pink market. Uh, another challenge that we had was um, finding out which filter would work best. First, we tried just a coffee filter. And that didn't go so well, and then we tried just a sponge, and then that did a better job, but it wasn't perfect. So we realized that a coffee filter and a sponge will work good together, so we'll be able to not only face the obstacles, but also come in by combining our failures to make a success. Jonathan, did you want to add something? Um, I mean, another challenge I think we had is probably. Um, designing the prototype because it's like many things we have to account for like the um, kind of materials we need to build it and like um, there was like little funny stuff to like um, design it because like it's kind of like we're kind of on a schedule so keeping it on it so staying on schedule is kind of like an issue. Okay and where do you see this project? Where do you see it in the city? What would you like to see it? <laughs> Perhaps with people that want to grow their garden, perhaps maybe even throughout the city, for people that want to raise crops and raise fish and grow their own plants and vegetables, and then to like inspire like um, organic farming. So you see, this is going to be a big business with the organic farm. Cool. And what are some science and technologies that you guys adapted into your project? <laughs> well, we are using Fab Lab to design the, the casing, the hold, everything. We also might use the market to design for the center, and then we're just going to use regular pumps. For the pump, we have we got a timer on when to pump the water up and when to not. We're using uh, Fab Lab and Audrey. Cool. And how was the development process? How did you guys begin developing it? In terms of blueprint, gathering materials, or actually seeing your project come to life? So what we did like, is that like, we, uh, we like to move it and we're thinking about the um, basic structure of like what the um, 
project would look like. Like we looked online, like different examples of these aquaponic um, systems, and then we also um, thought about the materials, like like I said, that we're that we're going to use, like how we can um, use the fab lab to build like the structure of um, like the container where the um, what is it called? The container where the plants and the um, fish will like where, like those like where we put the um, plants and fish, and then. Um, we also saw some like videos on YouTube of like these these different types of aquaponic systems, and we kind of like um, based our structure on like what which one was the best, like which one could be um, more beneficial, and like if we can actually establish them. So. Anybody else? What's the long term goal for this project? The long term goal is to eventually create a system that works and a system that doesn't take um, that much um, doesn't take much maintenance to um, for for it to work. It's so basically it, the long term goal is for it to be um, a self sufficient um, system where the fish help the plants by get by um, fertilizer for it to grow and for the plants to filter out the water that is given and pump it back up. So where did you get the idea to put a fish and a plant together? Um, well basically it's kind of like, I guess the rule of nature, it's kind of like um, everything, like I guess, well I learned in my biology class that like basically everything, everything in nature has like a purpose and everything in nature has a part. So, um, and also, I kind of got this idea from my uncle because I guess he tried actually to do this, um, but on a larger scale. So I just wanted—I got and got my inspiration from that. So I basically wanted to make smaller, a uh, smaller version of it that most people can know. And what kind of fish would you use? We would use basically um, goldfish because they're cheap, and those are one of the main goldfish that. Those are one of the main fish that when the when they produce. Um, Species that they, it could be just fertilizer, it could be used as good fertilizer for the plants. Okay, can you guys walk me through the process? How would the plant help the fish and the fish help the plant? Well, it's mostly the fish help the plant because the fish produce the waste and it goes up toward the plant and it kind of sits on the dirt. That gives the plant the nutrients that it needs because the fish waste uh, that the fish is using so it comes out. And then the water just goes back to the fish tank after it goes through the filtration. So that way that you don't have to fill the fish tank up. So by doing that, it allows the plants to grow and to be healthy and edible. So at any point, is the plant actually in the same water as the fish? At any point, is the plant in the same water as the fish? No, they're going to be separate because you don't want the dirt to get in the fish tank because it might uh, either contaminate the fish, it could kill them all, and it's not really that good for them. So we try to keep them separated. What materials did you use? Um, so far, we used a sponge and coffee filter. We built um, a semi fish tank out of a plastic bowl. We also built a semi case out of cardboard and we're going to build out a acrylic soon. And then we have a pump and some tubes. Mm -hmm. and cool. Does anyone have any final thoughts they'd like to add about their project? Um, no, but besides the fact that um, I'm hoping that it works out. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Like all of you, right? All right, thank you, gentlemen. And one more time, what's the name of your project? Team Alcor. What is it? Team, Team Alcor. Okay. All right. Thank you.